just wanted to share something with you guys that might help uh, for storing gasoline, like small engines uh, that, that need to be better off using pure gas. Uh, there's an easy way to get this ethanol out of this gasoline. I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you right quick. The, the principle of it is that uh, the ethanol that's in there, it's the same ethanol like it's like li what you find in liquor. Uh, it's, it's similar. And it, it dissolves in water. So what you do is take you some uh, gasoline. And put it in a... I'll put it in this container where y'all can, can look at it. Y'all see what I'm doing. Hold on a minute. Alright. There we go. A little bit. Alright, now. Y'all see that alright? See the color of it? Now what you want to do is put some water in it and well, don't want to splash it too much. There we go. I'm using these clear, clear plastic so you all can see it. Uh, but the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the plastic, if you use plastic stuff, make sure uh, at the very least it's HDPE number two plastic with the little triangle symbol with the two. Uh, that's the same thing that the uh, the gas cans are made of and stuff, you know. And so you know that it's, it'll be fine to hold that. Now you can mix this stuff up pretty good here. And you'll start to see a layer. You can put it in the sun where you can see it better. You'll start to see a layer forming in here. You know, y'all can see that. Now this layer that you see here in the bottom, well, there we go. This layer that you see down here in the bottom, that is the ethanol and the water mix that just separated out. Now all that floating on top is pure gasoline. So that's what you want. Now the trick is getting that out because it's on the bottom, right? That, that can be solved with another piece of HDPE plastic. If you have one of these things, uh, just fill it up, and I've rinsed this one out and cleaned it out really well and dried it, but uh, there's no soap left in this, and that's what you don't want. You don't want soap in your gasoline, so definitely be sure you, you clean them out good. There we go. Pour this in here. Pour this in here. Well, some of it, some of it's going to go in there. So if you're careful pouring it, you can kind of, you can kind of see where the water part of it's at inside there, and you can kind of like not not pour off the last little bit. Uh, and now it's getting into the water part. Now see that? That's just about all water. You can see there's a little bit of gasoline on top still. Save that to the side. That's going to be a weed killer. Going with the weed killer. Okay, so that's in there. So we've already just now separated quite a bit of that that ethanol and water out of there. Just that little that first pour. Now what you want to do? You want to get this thing set up and let it settle a little while, and uh, probably you know. Be good to let it settle for like maybe 10 minutes or something, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do this kind of quicker than that. We'll leave that closed. 
the nozzle for these I noticed is up a little bit from the very bottom so you, you really got to tilt these way over to get that at the very bottom there so this is what I do and then you just let it barely open and the first bit of that is going to be that the heavier liquid which is going to be that water so whatever little water was in there should be in this bottle now and it ain't much there's a little bit tiny tiny bit so that's it the rest of this is pure gas now that's left in here and so we can go ahead and put it and put it in the gas can I'm gonna use this one this is gonna be for my small engines where it don't have any ethanol in it and that'll help help them last a little longer you know and if you're concerned with any water that might be left in one of these things what you could do is uh, throw in uh, with a five gallon can you throw in you like a half bottle of uh, 91 isopropyl alcohol 91 percent and that'll that'll uh, if there's any little bit of water in there it'll make it uh, flammable it works just the same as that heat in the yellow bottle they got that heat uh, it makes the makes the water uh, that's in there it mixes with the water makes it flammable enough to burn so about half a bottle probably uh, for whatever little bit of water that you might have yeah I'm gonna add that to my weed killer too there all right so that's all there is to it guys I just wanted to share that with you uh, there's some you know, you could you could do this on a larger scale with like a, a bucket and a spigot. I, I thought about that too, but this does a gallon and a half, and I usually don't need a whole lot, you know, of pure gas, uh, really, and especially in the winter time, I don't really need to keep a whole bunch of it around. But uh, just wanted to demonstrate that for you guys. But these these will hold gas for just like a makeshift uh, gas can, really. This is, you got a vent right here, you got your spigot, so you don't have to spill it all over the place. But then these hold, I think these are the one from uh, from Sam's Club, so it's uh, 1.5 gallons. So, pretty decent for a makeshift gas can too. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good one.